In Elden Ring, there is an item called Rune Arc, and whenever you use it, you can get a really, really nice buff. Until you die, obviously. The buff depends on what kind of a rune you're having equipped. The motivation in the morning is kind of like this rune arc. Unfortunately, this is not something you can farm, or if you can, I don't know how, but it happened to me today. Today I started my day with rune arc on, and whatever great rune I'm having equipped, whatever the hell that is, because I don't even know, I don't have an access into inventory, I can't open my own guts, I can't open my own head, although, in a way, this is what you're kind of doing during a meditation, don't you? But today I'm having a good day. And I just wanted to say that it is wonderful whenever it happens. It's absolutely amazing. It's great. It's so cocksucking good, honestly. And it happens so rarely. I have a feeling that a lot of people are trying to change their lives, including me, kind of think that the person that you want to become is the person that is highly motivated every single day. And it is so incredibly sad and it's so disappointing to realize that it is ultimately not true. You are not motivated all the time. Today is a day two, and today I'm motivated. And this doesn't happen very often. Also, current condition is not helping me getting motivated. I'm still fat. I'm just on the very, very beginning. I'm not even very strictly on a diet because I'm still eating all the leftover food that I had in the fridge. Whenever I came back from a holiday, there was some left, as I mentioned before. And yeah i just felt motivated everything came with an ease to me i did three meals both for me and my fiance so basically six meals if you count them that way six meals sounds better so let's stick with that it makes me uh, appear a better person than i am i like this i like to make myself better than i am um i think it's kind of common isn't it uh i meditated uh, although I gotta say, I did not meditate straight after breakfast as I promised myself before that I will. So you could say day two and there comes the first exception from rule, there comes the first weakness. But in a way, it is it came out of the, an experimenting with disciplining myself because I couldn't go and meditate right away because I was so fucking full, honestly. We had a really good breakfast, really good salad, and it was just so big. It was a very high volume food and I just didn't feel very good. So if it will be happening more often, maybe I should consider meditating before breakfast. This will require from me being organized better because my priority is to make a breakfast for me and my fiance, especially whenever she's working in the morning and I don't, because like I want to get my duties first in a way especially duties to the other person, and then proceed with duties that I have to myself. So, you know, first I have a breakfast, mostly for her, and then I go meditate, you know what I mean? So, maybe I, would, I should reorganize myself if this is going to be an issue in the future. Anyway, I did meditate today. And so far I do stick with my diet. I actually can't see any exceptions today, because we ate, I think, almost everything from the leftover food I, we have a bit, we have bit of bread, almost like maybe four slices of uh, white bread left, um, and, oh, we have frozen sausages, fro frozen hash browns, so I would have to smartly add them to our meals a little by little, um, we have a very, very bit of, like, a little bit of cereal, and that's it, Jesus, that's it, honestly, so, yeah, serious diet starting soon, <laughs> Today is a good day, and I feel blessed. It's it's like this Buddhist saying that when Satori comes, be grateful. Satori, be grateful when it comes, right? I think it's something like that. <laughs> um, and I am grateful, because today's motivation is my rune arc, is my Satori, is my cheat code. Uh, because that doesn't happen very often. I came back from a gym as well. I went to the gym, it was the first day of the gym, and I just came back. And it was good. I didn't lose a lot of strength. Uh, I also tested my smartwatch. I got a smartwatch from my dad. It was kind of cool to test it, although I will not be expanding on this subject because I think it might be a little bit boring for for people <laughs> listening to it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was cool to have it. It was cool to be able to manage my heart rate and knowing... Like, it was cool to let my watch tell me how much should I rest instead of me myself because whenever i am telling myself how much i should rest then i am very susceptible to be lazy so that's really cool to put it into someone else's hands to the hands of my hand watch 
<clears throat> smart hand watch. Smart watch on a hand. Smart watch above the wrist. Or rather below the wrist whenever you're holding your arm right. Right right up. You know, like whenever it's up, it's kind of below the wrist, isn't it? Doesn't matter. It's a good day. And I'm happy to have this burst of energy. And I do not expect it to last till the end of the day. And I am very happy. I'm very, very happy. Because this is kind of a cheat code. And I appreciate that it happened on the day when I plan to go for the gym for the first time. It's really, really good. Um, this, this, this gave me this burst of energy that I needed to go through the workout properly. And I greatly appreciate it. I do work in the evening today. Uh, I, ha I have an evening shift. Uh, I'll have six drops, so not too bad at all, actually. And till then, I will try to use my burst of energy to do things that are cool. One, one, one small thing that I did differently that I would usually do is whenever I work in the evening, I go to the gym roughly around 11 a.m. And then I came back from the gym. I go for a shower and then I either stay in my house coat for a while or I change into the work clothes. Despite the fact that, I'll, that I will be working like six hours from now, I am already in my work clothes because I'm just too lazy to uh, get changed. But I did get changed today. I am in like my casual clothes today. Um, and I thought to myself that whenever you are getting dressed into your work clothes way earlier than you have to, then in a way you are admitting that the only thing that you want to commit today is work later on. And till then you're going to kill time because you are no one till then. So I think that's why intuitively I wanted to wear some casual clothes because I knew I have some energy and I'm like, okay, I am going to do, I'm going to be something a bit different before I'll have to actually start my shift. So now I'm thinking if it would be cool to make it a habit to try and dress appropriately every single time when you're about to proceed to appropriate activity. Because things like recording my podcast, things like doing pixel art, things like caring about my online shop, those things do not belong with my work uniform. So yeah, maybe it would be a good habit to come back from a gym and just immediately uh, get dressed casually and maybe this would boost up my productivity. That's just a nice, a nice idea. Anyway, to you all, have a wonderful day. Have a great time, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. I hope you're all well and healthy, despite the fact that I'm not, I know you're not. Even if you don't have any serious diseases, you're slowly decaying. So you're not okay, but... Whenever you're positive about not being okay, it's kind of okay. So just stick with okay. That's okay to do.